morning guys happy monday i thought i would do a few days of vlog so i'll take you along for a few days this week and we'll see what we get up to i walked the dog this morning and went to the post office i had to drop off a few orders from our women's day sale that we had last week yeah we didn't have a busy weekend at all we just had some family come over yesterday and then saturday i think i just had like a day at home i like organized my closet and things like that and then we had our friends over at night and ordered food so literally nothing too crazy but it was nice to have like a relaxing weekend especially since like the time change kind of threw me off there yesterday but we are back at it and yeah i have a few shoes coming in today which i'm so excited for so i will unbox those when they arrive i'm looking for the perfect shoe for like spring summer because i'm tired of rebuying and wearing air force ones i just feel like air force go with everything um but yeah i was on the hunt for a new shoe i ordered a bunch and we'll see what works best so yeah i'm just gonna tidy up a bit I'm just gonna make a quick bite to eat for lunch. I'm gonna make a sandwich. I have this pesto and other ingredients I got from Trader Joe's. So I saw this little sandwich idea on Instagram and it looked so good. I love pesto and I love sandwiches. <laughs> And then I'm gonna use some burrata, which I'm only gonna use half. Oh, this looks so good. That's a lot. <laughs> And then I'm gonna use this hot honey that I got from Trader Joe's. And finish off with some bread chili flakes. Looks bomb. close my eyes I'll feel like I'm there I don't have much going on today it's just a lot of computer work but I'm just like in the mood for spring so I think I'm gonna actually look for some new sheets for my bed I want to refresh my bedding um, I have like most of my stuff I think right now is from like Zara home but I want to try out a different brand I was looking at silk and snow so I might do an order for that i'm just like in the spring mood Ooh, my package is arriving please hold bows and go crazy okay guys this is so exciting i literally went off because i was like i need shoes so starting off i got well let me just say they're all the adidas like gazelle sambas that i ordered in three different styles obviously and then sizing for like the gazelles or the samba or the sambe is like impossible like so sizing for the three shoes is so different and like based on whether you get the sambas or the gazelles or the sambe and honestly unless you try them on i feel like you, you could be like any size so i'm usually a seven in everything i wear but i got like a 6.5 and a six in these shoes so we'll see these ones i actually already got and i tried them on but i thought i would show you because they are part of my like spring shoe that i was looking at 
So you might think they're crazy, but I just love them and they're so me and I feel like with the tan in the summer, they're gonna be stunning. So I got the gazelles in this pink color. They're actually called the bliss pink and I got these in a size six. So everyone said, so I'm a true seven in like all my shoes and everyone was like size down to full size to a size six. I got these on StockX and honestly, I wish I did a 6.5. So again, I feel like looking at reviews online is so hard. You just need to try them on and with StockX, you can't return. So if you can find them on a site where you can return, I would suggest doing that because again, everyone was saying go down a full size and I wish I just went down half a size. So got these, so cute, I'm obsessed. I know I'm definitely gonna keep these because I love them even though I wish they were a smidge bigger. But yeah, so that's my first shoe. Then I got these from Revolve, which were a pre-order item and they were supposed to come in April, but they came today. And I haven't seen many people wearing this style yet, but I feel like it might be the shoe of spring and summer this year because they sold out so quickly and i got a 6.5 and these are uh sorry yeah 6.5 and these are called the sambe i think that's how you say it Ooh, exciting Ooh, these are nice why did i order so many shoes i'm gonna end up loving all of them so these are them so kind of like the original sambas but these ones have a higher platform at the bottom, which I love because I'm kind of short. So they give me some height. Ooh, I'm excited to try these on. Again, with sizing, I literally just guessed at this point. I think they said these ones ran a bit big. So let's go hope for the best. Maybe I'll just do an unboxing and then I'll try them all on. And then I got, these ones were from Aritzia. And these ones I got in a size six because I originally ordered them and got a seven, which is my true size, and they were like massive. So I went to a six instead because they didn't even have a 6.5. So I was like, fingers crossed for a size six that they'll fit me. And these are Samba OG in wonder white magic beige i haven't seen anyone wear these ones i think i saw like one person on instagram oh my gosh they're stunning so they have like a beige color to it and they have like these like dots in the front but oh my gosh what a pretty spring summer shoe oh my gosh i love them all i literally love them all okay we need to try these on like Okay, I kind of went off with the Adidas, but like, I love them. I'm obsessed, okay, let's try them on. Okay, so these are the Sambe, which I got in a 6.5. I feel like I could have done a seven, honestly, which would be my true size. Everyone said they fit so big. Everyone's like, size down a full size. I went half, and again, they're fine, I think, but if I went with a seven, it would be fine as well. Really cute, I really like them. What do we think of this? I love the color of them. These are the Samba Originals. And like I said, I went with a size 6 instead of a 7. And these fit perfectly. I actually have like more room in them. So I'm glad I didn't even do a 6.5 in these. What do we think of this? I feel like these jeans are not the vibe today, but... I think I really like them as well. I love the color of them. Those are so pretty for the springtime. Okay, and then these honestly are my absolute favorite. I love the pop of color. Like I love them, especially for like summer and spring when I am tanned, wearing shorts. I really love this pink vibe. I feel like these were like big last summer too. So that's why I had to get them on StockX because they were sold out everywhere, but really love them. So yeah, guys, do I keep them all or what are we thinking? So it is five, 
Oh my gosh, it's 5.48. I don't know if that's the right time or the wrong time. I think it's the right time. So it's 5.48, it is still light outside and I was just like, I need to go leave the house and get an iced coffee. I never leave the house at 5.40 just to get an iced coffee, but I'm telling you, this time change and this sunlight has me just leaving the house at odd times, but not complaining. It is still kind of chilly out, but in my car with the heat on, it feels like it's summer out, so I'm gonna go do that. I had a craving for an iced coffee, honestly. I wish I was getting McDonald's, but that's like 25 minutes away, so we're gonna stick with Tim's, which is about like 12 minutes. I don't love Tim's, but I will settle for today. I'm not gonna be picky. And then I'm just gonna go home and make dinner. I'm making like shrimp tacos, so it's not that long. So I'm like, I don't mind starting a bit later than usual. And then I'm just gonna shower, do my hair, and then wait for Mike to get home and then we'll eat together. And honestly, that's about it. But yeah, I thought I would go for a nice drive, play my music. I am obsessed with this new country singer. His name is Tuck. And he's dropping like another song that you probably heard all over TikTok. But I literally have his songs on repeat and just bumping that music and going for a drive is the total vibe. So yeah. Can you guys like tell I'm like in a whole other mood when it's like sunny out and it's staying and the sun's out longer. Like I am ready for spring. I'm ready for summer. But like I can't even complain. It wasn't really a bad winter at all. And I feel like it did fly by super fast, so can't complain, but I'm happy it's here. I feel like in the next two, three weeks, I'm gonna like gear up the spring cleaning, the spring refresh of my house. So I'm excited for like that kind of content. But yeah, it was a pretty easy going Monday and I loved my shoes that I got. I'm honestly thinking I'm not gonna return any of them. Mike's gonna kill me when he watches this vlog, but yeah, I gotta be prepared for spring and summer and I think those will last me in this season and even next, so it's fine. It's completely fine. Alright. Hi there, what can I get for you? Hi, can I get a medium iced coffee with light cream? With less cream? Yeah. Anything else? That's all. Are you come on up? Thank you. Can I have a straw? Sorry? A straw, please. Yep. Thank you. I feel like I need to buy a box of plastic straws and literally just keep it in my car. This is hitting the spot. Honestly, I didn't even ask for less sugar and they made it to perfection. Just what I needed. This is exactly what I was craving. So now that I know that they make the coffee good, I will be coming here more often for my afternoon coffee runs. Honestly, like even just getting out of the house, especially like working from home, just going to get a coffee sometimes you just need to because then you're stuck in the house all day and it's like, I'm gonna go crazy soon. So thank God it's like, gonna be warmer weather my neighbor and I are literally looking into like picking up tennis this summer just to like another activity because I feel like I'm not gonna go to the gym as much because I want to do outdoor activities so I think that will be really fun but we're already talking about our tennis outfits how cute they're gonna be I want to get some clothes from aloe um, and then I'll just get like a cheap Amazon tennis racket so yeah I'm so excited watch I'm gonna like be so excited in this vlog and then my next one it's gonna be like winter all over again there was literally snow all over the ground this morning and then with the snow it like melted and now it's like a gorgeous day so funny but yeah I'm gonna get home start to make dinner I might even take the dog for another walk because why not and yeah, I'll catch up with you guys later
Morning guys, happy Tuesday. I'm just enjoying my morning coffee. I've been on a cappuccino kick lately and I haven't even been having my iced coffees in the mornings. So I like to save that for like the afternoon. But yeah, I've really been enjoying my coffee. I love this machine after having it for like three months now. Um, I have the Breville Bambino Plus. I got that at Christmas. So ever since changing from the Nespresso to this machine, I love it so much more. Coffee's just so much better. And my review, I have to say, I really do like it. I washed my hair last night and I think I'm gonna curl it this morning. So I'm just debating if I'm gonna curl it with the Dyson or my actual curler, but probably the curler that way it'll last me like two, three days. I feel like with the Dyson, I have to keep redoing it like every day in the morning. So with my curler, I can kind of get away with not having to really do touch-ups. So gonna do that. I actually, so funny. So on Instagram, another creator, Izzy Dilger. I hope I'm saying that right. She was like running like an Instagram contest and it was basically like, like her and comment on her photos, which I already followed her, already love her stuff. I go to her for like clothing inspo. She posts such cute things. Um, so yeah, she was running this like Instagram contest and I literally just entered by like commenting and liking on her post, which I feel like I already do. So just like engaging with her and then I actually won. So I was like shocked. Um, I feel like I don't really win anything. So that's why I'm shocked. Um, so I just got her package in last night and I thought I would do an unboxing. Oh, I should hide my address. I thought I would do an unbox. Ooh, okay. I thought I would do an unboxing because it's a bunch of like makeup and like I think hair products. Ooh, that, there's some good stuff in there. So I thought I would just like do an unboxing while I have my coffee. Again, I don't even know what's in this package. So this is like super exciting for the both of us. I feel like that's so exciting. Like you always know what package you're getting in the mail and you're already excited for it even though you know what it is. So this is just like super exciting because I don't even know what's in here. Okay, there's a lot of stuff. First thing that caught my eye actually was this Cove Essentials bow. I know they do clips and I actually have one of their clips. Um, it's hard for me to wear clips with extensions in, but this is cute. I also don't know if I'm really a bow girly, but I've been seeing these online and I think you can attach it to, um, to their clips. Mind you, I don't think this will match with the one I have, but cute bow. Maybe I'll give this to my niece actually. <laughs> I don't wear oh yeah that's what I'm gonna do because I don't really wear bows I haven't been able to get into it next is this dove deodorant and it actually smells good perfect I actually bought the salt and stone deodorant because I was trying to go to like a clean deodorant I love the smell of it apparently it's like the best natural deodorant on the market and I've tried many before and they've never worked for me that's why I've never been able to really change to a natural deodorant that one I find works. I just haven't done like an intense workout or like wore it during the summertime. So I feel like that will be the ultimate test. But even though I lather it on, I kind of feel a little bit sticky still. And my friends have said the same thing. So I definitely want to like use it for like a month straight because I'm still like, I still have my other deodorant that I'm using. So I haven't fully used the salt and stone one only, but I think I'm going to like start that and then now that like the weather's getting warmer and I'm like doing more walks outside, we'll see how it holds up, but good to have an extra. Um, from Lush, I don't know what this is. It's just a sleep massage bar. Smells good. Also from Lush is the Dream Cream Body Lotion. It's kind of sticky. Um, also from Lush is the Woosh Temple Balm. I know a lot of people like put scents and stuff on their temples. Sometimes it helps with like a headache or something. I don't know what that one does. Then is this Redken Extreme Bleach Recovery. What is a shampoo? Leave in for bleached hair. I don't know, is it a mask? And then from Redken as well, is this shampoo excited to use this i actually need new shampoo so that's perfect then from body blends you see that? 
is face and body anti-cellulite lotion with caffeine lift firm and hydrate oh this packaging is so cute and it smells good Ooh, that's gonna be like a nice oops lotion i've never heard of body blends before actually there is so much in this package i am so excited and grateful that she picked me next is this caudalie i think i'm saying it right eye cream Ooh, i don't have an eye cream cute i'm excited to add that maybe into my skincare nighttime routine i always say i want an eye cream but then i look at the price at sephora and i'm like i'll be fine then from MAC is this Hyper Real Skin Canvas Balm Moisturizing Cream. Then is this Function of Beauty Moisture Boosting Hair Gold Concentrate. So I'm guessing it's just like a hair mask. Then, ooh, I love this brand, is the Drunk Elephant. And this is the electrolyte, wa electrolyte Water Facial Mask Hydrant. With makeup, there is this Maybelline Eye Liner look. Cute. You know, I've been trying to do my winged liner, so that's perfect. This Dior, I'm guessing it's like a lipstick. Oh, and the color is super pretty. And lastly is this YSL. This is a Pure Shots Perfect Plumper Cream, Orange Blossom and Ribose. So it's just basically a cream. Oh my God, this packaging is so pretty. Super exciting. Okay, that was it. I feel like that was such a great giveaway. So thank you for choosing me. And if you guys aren't following her on Instagram or even on YouTube, go check her out because her stuff is so cute. And yeah, she gives you like great outfit ideas and stuff like that. So really love her i honestly love watching other creators on like youtube and following them on instagram yeah i think i'm gonna go curl my hair now and put on some makeup and that way i can start work for the day okay so i've decided to use my curler that way i don't really have to touch it up tomorrow or whatnot and i'm just gonna separate my hair Honestly, I do not like the curler I have. I literally bought it because I was going to Europe last year and whenever I go to Europe, even though I use a converter, my hair tools will fry. So I literally picked this up from Winners for like 30 bucks. I hate that the barrel is so short, especially because I have like my extensions in so my hair is longer. So I definitely need to get a new curler, but I've been making it work and I like that, how it makes my curls. So we're just gonna go with it. Um, I feel like I'm not really the best at explaining how to curl my hair. So hopefully if you're watching this, you could kind of just see how I do it. Kind of just bring it down, curl up, and then again, because the wand is so sh short, I have to kind of do it like twice. But I'm hoping to get one with a longer barrel. Bring it down, curl up, and undo it. I feel like this is the only way that I know how to do it. I love how my hairdresser does it, but I can never figure out how you like twist your wrist properly to like do the curl, but that is basically all I do. And then do it. Then I'll just do it in sections. And then obviously go in the opposite direction, bring it down. And I don't curl all the way to the bottom because I like having like the ends a bit straighter.
my camera just died, but I basically just brushed out my hair. And then I'm gonna go in with the Day uh, Hair Oil and Prickly Pear. It smells so good. And just put that in. And she's good to go. I'm just gonna put on a bit of makeup and then I am gonna head to my office to work. It's 4 p.m. and I just cut up an orange. I think I'm gonna take it and sit outside in the backyard with Bo and he can run around a bit. I am waiting for Mike to put out our chairs in the front. That way we could I could like sit on my front porch, but until then I will sit on my steps. Go get your ball. Oh, forget it. He wants my orange. Started my dinner. I'm making stuffed peppers. So I just kind of grilled up some veggies here. And then I'm going to put my ground beef. Cook that up and then put in some tomato sauce. Have my rice going. And then I need to put my peppers and put those in the oven. So... It's over. I'm like a little bit behind on dinner. I feel like this time change has really thrown me off my game. It's fine because Mike doesn't come home till a bit later. And then I'm just going to put oil on these, put them in the oven at 400, and then maybe like 20 minutes, I'll keep my eye on them. So in the go. And now I need to cover my rice. So when it's all browned, make sure you add your spices. I added salt, pepper, oregano, and parsley. I wish I had fresh parsley, but it's fine. And then I'm just gonna put in some cherry tomato sauce, about like half a can probably. And I'll just mix that in. So I've gone ahead and added my rice in now. I'm just gonna let it simmer like two, three minutes, and then I will start to stuff my peppers. Okay, so they are all stuffed. I put some parm on some of them because I know Mike likes that. And now I'm gonna pop these back into the oven. And again, I'm just gonna keep an eye on them pretty much till the cheese melts. And then they're good to go. Morning guys, it is Friday today. I didn't vlog the last two days just because it was honestly just work, work, and more work. But thought I would take you guys along today. I'm going to the office. So I thought it'd be fun to take you guys along with me today. I'm starting off my morning with a Elixir Wellness Ginger Shot. If you know me, you know how much I rave about Ginger Shots and how I think during the winter months they literally save me from getting sick. So, so cheers. Oh my goodness, they just wake you right up. Okay, I'm good. We are gonna head to the office now, and yeah. I actually love working out of the office, especially like just the change of scenery, and then, yeah, it's so bright in here, so I'm actually gonna film a, a TikTok for my brand TikTok page. I'm gonna do a package in order with me, so I'm just writing out the card now. But yeah, I think with all the windows, the lighting is perfect in here, so I'm gonna do that shortly. I'm gonna actually write these out, and I think I'm actually going to surprise the customer with a free seamless set they bought from the ripped collection, so I think I'm gonna do a throw-in of our seamless underwears for them to try out, which I think will be really cool and exciting. Then when I post on TikTok, this customer came from TikTok, so hopefully she'll see it. She'll know about the surprise beforehand. 